Today, I'm going to break down all the steps on how to become a U.S. licensed pharmacist in 2025 based on the official NABP FDGEC blueprint. Hi, I'm April. I'm a clinical pharmacist and a foreign pharmacy grad from the Philippines and now practicing in the U.S. If you're a pharmacist outside the U.S. and want to practice here, you're in the right place. As a quick note, I don't have a specific knowledge or expertise on visa or immigration pathways. This video focuses only on license and exam requirements. Create your free e-profile on NABP website. Then confirm if you have qualifying pharmacy education. For most graduates after January 1, 2003, that means um, a first five-year pharmacy program. Earlier grads may qualify for four years depending on country standards. Next, apply for the FBGEC. So as of two, uh, 2025, the cost is $750. That's $100 for application and $650 for document evaluation. So you'll need to submit transcripts, proof of pharmacy, licensure from your home, passport, passport style photo, and sign at the station. Now get your credentials evaluated through ECE, the Educational Credential Evaluation. Use the course by course evaluation type and have the results uh, sent to NABP. And this usually costs around $200. You must pass the TOEFL IBT before your application is accepted. The required minimum scores uh, for reading is 22, for, for listening is 21, speaking is 26, writing is 24, and your scores are valid for two years. Most candidates use uh, Magoosh, ETS Official Guide, or Noteful. I personally use Noteful. Once approved, you'll be eligible to take the FTGEE, and it is held only once a year, typically in October. The cost of the exam is $650 for first-time test takers and $750 for retakes. You must register by the deadline, which is typically six weeks um, before the exam date. So what's on the FPGEE? The FPGEE has 200 questions delivered over 4.5 hours. And here's the breakdown. The biomedical sciences is 10%, the pharmaceutical sciences is 33%, the social and behavioral sciences is 22%, and clinical sciences is 35%. You can use resources like Shargell's Comprehensive Pharmacy Review, the APHA um, uh, FPGEE Review Book, the Living Call Pharmacology, the Manan Shroff's a Thousand Questions, and of course your notes. It, so after passing the FPGEE, you'll receive your FPGEC certificate. And next, you'll apply for an intern license in the state you plan to work. So every state has a different requirement, okay? so. For most states, it's typically 1,500 to 2,000 plus hours. And once you complete your internship hours, it's time for NAPLEX and MPJE. The NAPLEX costs $575. The MPJE costs around $250. And check if your state board has additional administrative fee. Study using Rx Prep or high yield med review for NAPLEX and for FPJE you can go to the, the state or the pharmacy website and find resources there or there are books that are also specific to state uh, pharmacy law or you can also try the pre-MPJE practice test on NABP website. So once you pass both exams, apply to your state's board of pharmacy for your pharmacist licensure. Licensing fees, it's typically $100 to $300. So here's the summary of 
the total estimated cost. FPGEC application is $750. EC evaluation is $200. TOEFL IBD is 255, FPGE is 650 to 750, NAPLEX is 575, MPJE is 250, licensing fee is around 200, so your estimated would be 2700 to 3200, and that excludes your study resources and potential retakes. If you're serious about making this happen and want an expert guidance book a 30 minute call with me at calendly.com slash pharmacist april if you found this video helpful please like subscribe and share with a fellow foreign pharmacy grad comment below if you have questions i'd love to help you on your journey bye for now